Mm. Busted. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a salt lick. This guy just... <laughs> like you're like cooking and doing stuff and you're like, man, I'm thirsty and... <laughs> just a salt <laughs> lick at your desk? As you know, I'm an appetizer guy. I like to keep it fun and simple. When I'm cooking at home especially, it's gotta be fast because I got two little girls who don't like much. Actually, Mila likes a lot. Phoenix doesn't. So, so as someone who used to live on fast food, you're now making delicious food that's fast. Yes! By George, I think By he's got it! Jove, we've done it! I think she's got it. By George, she's got it! <laughs> Alright, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to make two recipes. Uh, I was gonna say similar ingredients, it's not actually. No. They're very different <laughs> totally ingredients. Totally opposite. Totally different. Yeah. Uh, but today we're gonna Same be technique. Yeah, same te technique. So today we're gonna be doing French bread pizzas. My what? girls. French bread pizzas? Is that what you call them? What, what? I would call them cheese breads, but. Well, there's not just cheese on them. It's a Doesn't French bread pizza. Pizza, pizza no. kind of requires a crust. This has crust. It has the bread. entire bottom. And it requires a sauce, no. toppings, and cheese. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Let me know what do you guys think. Because I'm not a culinary chef who went to CIA Institute of Skadoosh Holes, but I know a thing or two about pizza. <laughs> I ever mentioned what kind of flatbreads we're doing. Oh no. Should I put this at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm I'm the one editing, so I'm gonna cut to me now and put it at the beginning. The flatbreads we're doing are a chicken pesto flatbread and a traditional kind of Italian marinara based kind of meat. Not flatbread. French bread. <laughs> Man. French bread pizza. Pizza. Jeez this guy. <sighs> Let's go back to the where I'm actually cooking. You know what? Come on, let's yeah. wrap this up. We're Quit shenanigizing. Quit it out. Quit it out. Quit it out. <laughs> okay, let's go. Just working some stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> working some calculations. Chicken, then carry cut the, the two. Bread. All right, so let's get started with this real fast. Uh, this is not a complicated situation. We're gonna season our chicken cutlets. Now we've said this a lot. I love to uh, I love to use cutlets because they cook really fast. They stay juicy because they don't require too much time um, to cook all the way through. Right. And uh, you don't have to cook a whole chicken breast, which takes a lot, lot, lot longer. And if you can't find chicken cutlets, you can always just cut a breast in half. Definitely. Salt and pepper. Okay, so we're gonna Whoa, do Oh, you're gonna do salt and pepper and chicken and herb? Yeah. You, you are just- You do this to me all the time. On the wild side. The wild side. Chicken and herb, it's really gonna bad, be yummy. Baby, bad, baby, bad, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Really? Bad baby, bad baby. Really? The pen is royal blue. Oh, man. Here, look. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it easy and happy for you. I'm gonna only salt and pepper one side. Is that? I is appreciate that, you. Does that take care of your highly sophisticated palate? Yeah, it does. But on a serious note, uh, you're only really seasoning this. You're not gonna be seasoning the bread. So a slightly saltier bit of chicken is not that big of a deal. Not bad at all. Hey, let's let's head over uh, to the hey, griddle top. Once hey, let's do that. Let's do that. So I'm gonna. I have these uh, preheating on low. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up. A notch to high. Kick it! Kick it! Wow, man, you're on a music roll today, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. You're, you're just welcome. cruising with the Beastie Boys. Okay, dropping it down. A little bit of olive oil. Set the chicken in. Bob's your uncle. We're on our way. All right, chicken's cooking. Let's get to our French bread. If you are an absolute rock star, make your own French bread. But for the 99.999997% of the population. Just go to your uh, local grocery store. Now that we've got that cut, let's set this aside and uh, head to the griddle top and start toasting it. Want to? Want to? Now my gut's telling me that this one's gonna toast a little faster. Uh, we're gonna see. Let's check, let's check the chicken. I bet it, it, I bet it's still needs some time. Yep. Needs whoop, a skosh. Whoop. Yep, need a few more minutes. Okay, while that's happening, let's come back over here. Got a marinara. 
So we're gonna just uh, leave this in the jar. We don't have to put that in a bowl or mix anything up. That's all done, obviously. But for the chicken pesto, we're going oh, to be yeah. mixing two delicious ingredients. Now listen, you could just use pesto by itself, but why not suspend it and elevate your flavors with Duke's mayo? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's and just that's really, really sad. sad. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. Oh, oh, that no. would be weird, right? And we don't get paid. Oh which no, is we also don't. Really sad. With this, we're gonna just do equal parts. Actually, I'm gonna do a bit more pesto than I am mayo. So we're gonna do a big old heaping spoon full of mayo. You might, it's a big piece of bread. You might need to touch more. Whoa, whoa, golly. jeez, guy. Me, jeez. I didn't do it, I, I'm Is over here. Is this the kind of professionalism I'm supposed to expect all the time? I know that we need more, which is why I'm gonna use more pesto right, than I am I'm, mayo. I'm here for you. Wow, dude, I am covered yeah. in stuff. Stuff. I really feel like this is a fun place where you could get out of a rut. Uh, using mayo to suspend other purees, sauces, uh, pre-made stuff it just makes it makes life a little more fun. Yeah, and we've been doing it a lot lately uh, Which I really enjoy technique. And so speaking of gun shy, I'm gonna check on my bread. <laughs> I, was <about> to say, <laughs> I was about to say it. Oh We're that almost one there. Is looking great. Oh, and so is that one. Yeah. Okay, let me get our whisk and get to it man See look we have plenty of sauce at this point. Okay, let me check on the chicken real quick I'm gonna flip it. I like it. I'm gonna flip it Yep, we're gonna flip it. Okay, give that a few more minutes on that side. We'll pull it off and we'll be ready to go. What kind of meat are we using today, guy? That's a great question, Nate. Thanks for asking. I did not set you <laughs> up for this. I ah, fair, you did, dude. I'm I not gonna it. mention what you did last night. Um, what? You tried to make a fool out of me, and in fact, succeeded. I was on your team. I may I have been mispronouncing, enunciating a word for five or six years, and nobody told me. <laughs> so now I know how Betty feels, <laughs> you big jerk. I'm aggressive about it. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just say that word again. Uh, gyoza? Gy gy no, I'm not gonna play this game. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I said, Gyoza, the wrong way, for a long time, and it's Fine. gyoza. But we're gonna make one, sometime. Someday, when I get a little better at cooking. Uh, so today we're gonna be using three different meats. We're gonna be using a copa. Uh -huh. We're gonna be using a genoa salami. Uh -huh. And we're gonna be using a sopressa. Nope. So, so, sopressa? Sopressa? Close. Italian meat. Heep. We're gonna be using Italian Heep meats. Heep -heep -hop. You give all the you give all the easy ones! Heep. Keep hop? Keep hop anonymous? You get him the easy ones! I think we should like tile them a little bit so like they're ready to go. Like at your favorite restaurant? Um, Subway? Yeah, we could do that. Or we could go get the bread off. Oh. Because I bet you it's done. Okay. I'm not going to grab it this time. Oh, beautiful oh, thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mock. Yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Mock. Yeah. Ing. Yeah, bird, yeah. So obviously use whatever marinara you want if you have a favorite um, or spaghetti sauce if you like, but today we're gonna just be using some Classico because it's classic. Oh! oh. Uh, all right, so we got our sauce down. Okay. Then let's add some meat. You want to? Beautiful. Oh, I like the little fold. Thanks, guy. Okay, I think that that is probably an adequate amount. I feel, I feel, of I meats, would agree. Of meats. Okay. I concur. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? <laughs> it should have concurred. It's a great movie. Now we're gonna top this off with a decent. Oh, you're not doing any basil? I am gonna do basil. Oh. Just give me a second. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just do a rough chop. Got a little bit of basil. 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 <laughs> what does it all mean, basil? Do a little bit of cheese, a little bit more cheese. 
Keep our basil on there. Pulling rack time. This is a fun mm -hmm. way to not burn your bread when you're cooking on the griddle top. So this uh, elevates it off the actual heat. You're gonna be getting ambient heat without getting the direct heat yeah. precisely on it. So Pro moves right there. Pro moves, yes, ladies sir. and gentlemen. Look at that. That is a Beautiful. glorious French bread pizza. Okay. All right. Gonna, it's chicken time, guys. Okay, so I think that one piece of chicken is gonna be adequate for this recipe. Okay. We've got delicious thin slices. Okay. Oops. Oh, dude, I forgot to cut the onion. Hold on. Ah. All right, let's cut it real quick. Gonna cut the uh, red onion nice and small. Get it into, for me personally, I like little bites of red onion. So I'm gonna get this nice and chopped up small minced. I don't really know. I'm gonna figure it out as I go. What do you think about that? <laughs> what you think maybe, about maybe that? Maybe a julienne or something? I don't know. We're gonna, I'm not sure if we'll have time. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Yep. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's continue with the building process. Moving on to our highly elevated sauce, my man. Highly. Highly. I took this to the stratosphere. Now, feel free to sauce as much or as little as you like. I don't really like a dry pizza, so I like a decent amount of sauce. What would or, you? Or bread. Flat bread. Or round. French bread. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Okay, let's do this, man. So we're gonna. So we've got our nice, sliced yeah. up, seasoned chicken. Dig that. Yeah, dude. Nate asked me a silly question earlier. Never. Yeah, and no. I'm gonna call him out on it. What was it? He goes, hey, you like artichoke artichoke hearts, right? I, d I, didn't, I don't even eat seafood, much less would dive into artichoke hearts. So he wants, he wanted me to put this on my freaking, on my, on my French bread. They're delicious. Yeah, you're nuts. Speaking of that, speaking of being nuts, I also forgot to slice the tomato guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll today. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not uh, a line chef here. Boom. That's right. So let's go ahead and top this at this point. Should you just because tomatoes love salt, chicken and herb seasoning? Oh. Yeah. That's we're a doing that. A, pre, a, a, a mid just, dust. A mid dust. A mid I dust. Must. A mid, a mid dust. I must. Good idea, man. Yeah, I like that idea a lot, and I like the seasoning a lot. So that was that was brilliant. That was your one brilliant <laughs> moment of the day. Of the day. So that, you get. that was it. Okay, let's get our thin sliced onions on here. So oh, a little pop of color. Yeah. We're gonna do mozzarella on this one too. Yes, sir. It's kind of a go-to. Right. I mean, I, why I, the heck not? Why, why the heck not? That's what I always say. All right. Is there anything else I'm forgetting at the moment? I think you're good. Okay, great. Because. I am one pathetic loser. Let's go to the griddle top. <laughs> you are one pathetic loser. There we go. Grab some water. Now here's a tip, guys. Don't put your water directly underneath. Yep. Uh, because then you're gonna find that you will get your crust soft. You wanna keep a crispy crust. Just uh, block my camera with that, guys. Sorry. I will. Alrighty. We're in business. There we go. Give it a cover. And, um, Honestly, like probably two minutes. We say it all the time, but two minutes. Yeah. A, yeah. a, a, a bet. What is it? You, Bell in a drink. Bell in a. No. A bing and ring and a ding. <laughs> a bing and a bing and a bite. Or we'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, amigo. It's been about four or five minutes. Ooh. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, man. Yes, sir. Indeed. How are you gonna bring these back to the cutting board? I'm glad that you're asking, because I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. Coming over. Chicken pesto. Pesto train, setting her down. Here Beauty. we go. A nervous Nelly. No. Don't, don't sneeze. Don't, could you imagine if I drop it? I feel like someday I'm gonna drop it. Dang. Look at that. Whoa. Jeez. Griddle off. <laughs> <laughs> You're in rare form today. <laughs> it fell on its own, yeah, it's well, the wind. Okay. Okay, Look which one do you these. wanna cut first? Definitely going to cut into our Italian meat one. You ready, guy? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Now, this is fun. Yeah, go for it. Oh, crunchy, oh, crispy. Oh, you hear that? Heck yeah. Okay, which one do you want to try first? Uh, Pesto. Pesto. Okay. Mm. Dropping it up. Oh, caught it. Dude, you've got like cat-like reflexes on the catches. I do, man. I'm a quick one. You're a That's quick one. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> you're a quick one. Oh, you're a quick one. You gotta try that in a second. But I'm hungry, so I'm getting into the Italian. 
Mm mm. Yep. Uh uh. Come back. Come back home. Winning! <laughs> Did you just say winning? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what else to say about it except let me finish eating. So maybe you should have a bite. Oh. That's good. real good. And I love the little bit of extra like um, push with the pesto sauce, adding oh, yeah. the mayo to it. Mm -hmm. Pesto alone is delicious. Adding that Duke's mayo. Creamy. <laughs> Did you just wanna? No. Oh. Yeah, I was just about to ring the bell. Because <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, victory. this is a victory. Victory! Victory! Well, speaking of comments, there were a few there gems. Was... A few gems. Shall we talk about them? Let's talk okay. about them. Okay. CJ's favorite comments of the week. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The segment in the show where I reveal how nice you are or disgruntled you might be. <laughs> disgruntled is... Is that the term? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, let's find out in no particular order. Here we go. Shane says, I wish this was CJ's last cooking show. <laughs> That's too much <laughs> yapping. You started with that Just one. make the crap and move on. He's not funny. Well, thank you for watching and commenting. Shane, here's to you, buddy. Hey, Shane. Thanks for watching and leaving a comment. <laughs> wow. We're just coming out the gate strong. Comment number two. Really? Wish the video was just about cooking. I spent half my time watching and half fast forwarding through the BS. <laughs> my comment was, that bad? And then somebody else comes on, yeah, no kidding. Okay. <laughs> but they probably fast forwarded. They did this fast part. forward. And Unless not... they didn't. And they got to this part. And then we'll see now you in the comment it. section. All right, we'll see you there. This is good. Uh, Brandon, not sure what I would rank higher. Dumb and Dumber, Bill and Ted, Excellent Adventure, or this episode. Yeah! Wait. Boom! I mean, yeah, you well, can't not yeah, ding give it that, up. right? I mean, two, double uh, ding. Double ding. Uh, Brandon, thank you. Rachel Voris says, Historically fantastic and hilarious episode. <sighs> Rachel's my cousin. That's so not fair. I think that it doesn't should count. count. <laughs> We, we need a second bell. Like, this is like, like the main bell. And then there's the, like, courtesy a, bell. A curt. <gasps> <laughs> We're getting one. Thank you to my cousin Rachel for inspiring said courtesy bell. <laughs> I did ring it, so we've got to drink it. Uh, it, it uh, like, uh, oh. Okay, this is good. Andy says, I started my bell ringing before watching the video. First mistake. Gre uh, got freaked out with all the costume changes. Second mistake. Got to laughing and spilled my sippy cup. Third mistake. Great videos and a lot of work went into that one. Yes, it did. My man, Andy. Cheers to you, brother. Wow, we are just ring a ling a dingin'. Weird. But Mike says something about a dude with a beard and tats dressed like an elf singing Wang Chung. Some people would say fake news. I say genius. Funny gents. Funny you know what we say? Cheers, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is CJ's favorite comments of the week. For this recipe and a whole ton of others, go to blackstormproducts.com. Like, subscribe, click the bell, do all that cool business. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you like it, do me a solid and share it because mm. that would be cool. Leave us a comment and you might be in the next episode. Yeah. If it's mean enough or nice enough or funny enough. Also, we would love to hear renditions of CJ's first cooking show, Jingle. Oh, heck yeah. Commence with the jingle. Together, love, yeah. Three days first!